we are running. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm wishing you a happy new year. Now, the real thing is, I am promising you that this year is going to be your best year, your best successful year. I know there are many of you who have a unfair past, who have failed, who have made many mistakes, who have planned that didn't work out. I know maybe you lost someone you loved last year or your best friend walked away. But it's time to let go of what didn't work out. It's time to stop bringing negative baggage from yesterday into today. It's time to stop focusing on the negative things of the past. It's time to kiss some things goodbye. Don't bring bitterness and negativity into a new year. Let go of your disappointment, your failures, your pain, your past. Because you can't do anything about the first. But you can do something about right now. No matter what happened, just let it go and move forward. If you keep bringing negative baggage from yesterday into today, it will poison your future. If you hold on to the hurt, you go around dwelling on the offense, thinking, why did they say that about me? Why did I lose my loved one? Why did that friend walk away? Then you're opening the door to bitterness. When you're bitter, it affects every area of your life. Bitterness poisons your attitude to where you see things in a negative light. Bitter people don't have good relationships. They're easily offended. They'll jump down your throat for the smallest thing. It's not you, it's the bitterness coming out. You may have a good reason to be bitter. Something was unfair. But holding on to it is only going to make it worse. It's going to steal your dreams, rob you of your joy. Bitterness can keep you from your destiny. You may have had an unfair past. I'm not debating that. What I'm saying is you don't have to have an unfair future. The longer you hold on, the harder it is to get rid of. The more you dwell on it, the more you relive it, the more you let it bother you, the deeper it gets planted. The key is forgive quickly. Let go of things you don't understand quickly. Is because what's happened in your past is not nearly as important as what's in your future. Where you're going is much more significant than where you've been. But if you stay focused on the past, you'll get stuck where you are. And this is the reason a lot of people don't have joy, no enthusiasm for life. They're dragging around all this negative baggage from the past. Friends, life is too short to live that way. Learn to travel light. Every morning when you first get up, forgive the people that did you wrong the day before. Forgive your spouse for what they said. Forgive your boss for being rude. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made. At the start of the day, let go of the disappointments, the setbacks from yesterday. Start every morning afresh and anew. God did not create you to carry around all that baggage. And some of you have been holding on to it for years. It's not going to change unless you do something about it. You got to put your foot down and say, that's it. I'm not living in regrets anymore. I'm not focusing on my disappointments. I'm not dwelling on who hurt me or what didn't work out. I'm letting it go and moving forward with my life. See, we should focus on what we can change, not what we cannot change. What's done is done. If somebody offended you, mistreated you, disappointed you, you can't undo that. You can either get bitter, pack it in a bag and let it weigh you down, or you can forgive them and go on. If you lost your temper yesterday, you can either beat yourself up, carry around the guilt and condemnation, or you can ask for forgiveness, receive God's mercy, and do better today. If you didn't get that promotion, you can get sour, go around with a chip on your shoulder, or you can shake it off knowing that God has something better in store. No matter what happens in life, big or small, 
If you will learn to let it go and move forward, then your past doesn't have to poison your future. So make some promises to yourself in this new year. Number one, I will be grateful always. Develop an attitude of gratitude and give thanks for everything that happens to you, for everything that you have right now. Knowing that every step forward is a step toward achieving something bigger and better than your current situation. Number two, I will let go of all grudges I hold. Let go of yesterday. Let go of all grudges that you hold. Let today be a new beginning and be the best that you can. And you will get to where God wants to be. Number three, the past is past. I will concentrate on present moment. Don't dwell in the past. Don't dream of the future. Only concentrate the mind on the present moment. Number four, only I can change my life. No one can do it for me. So this is the time. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones that we 